Ali Raisman began working on a very difficult Aminar vault early on in her elite career. She first debuted in competition in 2010, however it was nowhere near ready as evidenced by her under-rotated landing. One year later, Ali showed some progress and was able to put it to her feet, but her messy form in the air and deep squat landing were still very much concerning. By 2012, the American gymnast looked way more explosive off the table, and her overall execution had improved, but she still gave the audience a couple of scares, especially on her landings. It's actually impressive she remained injury-free throughout the cycle. Ali brought this vault back during her 2016 comeback, however she struggled with keeping it in bounds and controlling the landing on multiple occasions. Fortunately, her peak performances came at the Rio Games, where she won a silver medal in the all-around final. The uneven bars were far from Raisman's best event, however she did improve a lot throughout the years. Her most difficult releases were a straddled catchif and a straddled Jaeger, both rated D. Her highest rated pirouettes were a toe on circle with a full turn, valued at D. And a stalder circle with a full turn, also rated D. Her most difficult transitions were a Maloney from the low bar to the high bar and a Bale from the high bar to the low bar, both rated D. Ali finished her routine with a double front dismount in a tuck position with a D rating. The American gymnast is an Olympic bronze medalist on the balance beam and this was one of her most solid events. Her routine included a salto forward in a pike position, rated E, which she linked to a layout step out in the 2009 quad, and to a wolf jump in the following cycle. Both sequences increased her start value by one-tenth. A split leap with a full turn, valued at E, however it was a bit deduction prone since Ali wasn't the most flexible gymnast and a layout, which she linked to a back handspring for an extra tenth in difficulty. Maintaining a straight body position in the air was essential to avoid deductions for excessive piking of the hips. But Ali's most difficult skill came at the end of the routine, a Patterson dismount with a G reading. This is one of the most difficult skills performed on this apparatus. The highlight of Raisman's career was definitely her floor routine. Her opening pass remains one of the most iconic pieces of gymnastics we've ever seen. She performed a layout step out with one and a half twists, indirectly linked to a double Arabian, followed by a front layout. This sequence gave her four tenths in bonus. Her most difficult acro skills were a double Arabian in a pike position, rated F, which she linked to an A-level jump to avoid landing deductions and increase her start value by a tenth. And a triple twist, rated E, which she later upgraded to a double layout, valued at F. Her most difficult dance elements were a Gojin, rated D, a switch leap with a full turn, also rated D, and a double turn with the leg at 90 degrees with a D rating. Ali is an Olympic gold and silver medalist on this event. What's your favorite skill or combo performed by Ali Raisman?